Welcome. Good of you to join me again. All right, we're focusing today on the Quicksilver. When last I left you with the Quicksilver, I had upgraded the machine and everything seemed to be working. Uh, a couple of glitches along the way, but I got the 120 gigabyte SSD installed via IDE and internal firewire uh, successfully putting a 512 gigabyte SSD. And I believe I said at the end of that video that the next step was going to be the installation of operating systems. Uh, now the fun has begun. The CD drive doesn't open. And I couldn't convince it to open. Maybe that's just as well because the last thing I want is to get a disc stuck in there. All right. Now, there is the possibility of ordering another uh, optical drive. That optical drive is going to be a problem anyway because the installation media for uh, Leopard definitely, and actually may be true for, for Tiger as well, are both DVDs. Well, what to do in the interim? I booted up the iMac, uh, iMac, jeez, where's my brain? The uh, Power Mac uh, Dual G5 into target disk mode, connected it to the Quicksilver, and successfully installed the Mac OS 9. Then I tried to continue and install 10.0 uh, Cheetah. Kernel panics. Repeated kernel panics. I tried setting the system clock to a different date, um, which shouldn't have been the problem, but I, I did try that. I set it back to 2001. I tried... Uh, using a smaller partition. I, I heard something about Cheetah only wanting to install on the first partition of a disk and that it shouldn't be bigger than uh, 8 gigabytes. So I tried that. And it's still getting kernel panics. Now, th the machine came originally with 10.0 on it, but what it shipped with was 10.0.4 and the installed disk I've got is 10.0.3 and I mean you wouldn't think that would be a problem but I'm kind of suspecting that's what it is. Uh, now since I can't install Cheetah I can't install Puma because the Puma disk I've got is the the upgrade disk you have to have Cheetah installed. So that's all going on a back burner. Uh, I have now wiped everything again, and we are yet again for the second time today, but the first time that you will see, uh, have an install of Mac OS 9. Then I'm going to put Tiger on it, not going to do a clean install, and then hopefully do follow my plan with... Uh, Leopard of doing a clean install of Leopard with the use of Leopard Assist. Uh, that's what we're going to try now anyway. At some point I do believe I will get Cheetah and Puma to work. Uh, it's just probably going to have to be an older machine than, uh, than the Quicksilver. Uh, at any rate, uh, what you're about to enjoy will be the installation of Mac OS 9 on the Quicksilver uh, with an assist from the Power Mac Dual G5 via target disk mode. And I hope you enjoy it. Well, it would appear that nothing is ever allowed to be easy. 
I suppose that's part of what makes life more interesting. There, there are two problems with my plan of installing operating systems. The first one was obvious. It appears that the optical drive in the Quicksilver is CD only. It does not read DVDs, which would make the installation of Leopard impossible. But it gets worse. The drive won't open. So what I have done is to boot up the Power Mac Dual G5. It, it is now in target disk mode. The plan will be to connect it to the Quicksilver, allowing the Quicksilver to use the DVD drive of the G5. Now, I've never actually done this but it is an adventure, so stay tuned. Okay, that really wasn't so bad. It was only a couple of minutes uh, from the point that I stopped the video to this point here. All right. Let's click Mac OS install. Select a destination disk. I leave untitled in there. Okay. No, we don't want to go there. We want to go OS9 SSD. And I have to remember to remove that uh, extra 120, 120 gig uh, SSD. All right, so we select. Before you install, Isn't it amazing what a speed reader I am? Okay. So, yeah, I agree with all of that, and I read every single word. And we're going to start. Here it goes. So, saying 15 minutes. Uh, I am sure that most people, perhaps not all, but most people who are tuning into this video have sat through an installation of a more modern uh, Mac OS. Uh, or that's perhaps not even accurate. I, I don't can't imagine anybody actually sits at their computer. Uh, it can take 45 minutes, even maybe an hour, to install newer versions of Mac OS. Uh, OS 9 is a very different kind of beast here. Now we're down to 13 minutes. The entire operating system is measured in megabytes. Not gigabytes, megabytes. And of course, we saw on, on the the G3. That's why it ran so well on the G3. It's designed for that kind of machine. down to 11 minutes. That's what appeared to be installing the system folder itself. Ten minutes remaining.
the way down to nine minutes. I, I timed a clean install of OS 9 once. Uh, it took about 12 minutes. Maybe taking a little longer here. I don't know the fact that we're in target disk mode. But, you know, you might as well get the full installation experience here. Particularly seeing as how most people don't have the hardware that will actually run this operating system. Oh, there's an emulator, of course, called Cheap Shaver that... It won't run macOS 9.2.2, but it will run up to 9.0.4, which is essentially the same. The, the updates to 9.1 and 9.2 uh, really were improvements in uh, getting it to run in the classic environment on OS X. Uh, so you can, yeah, if you can get install media for 9.0, uh, you can have that sheep shaver. Seven minutes. Looks like we're just about to hit the halfway point here. Countdown has begun here. Six minutes. Now, of course, I'm quite sure many uh, people have simply slid the slider ahead to get their way through all of this. Uh, I wanted to uh, memorialize this. Three minutes. As more people are rap rapidly unsubscribing to the channel. <laughs> In 
installing internet access. How nice. Also probably a waste of time, but hey. to speech. <laughs> Less than a minute. Okay. We'll quit that. And let's go to control panel. Startup disk. And that's an interesting thing, yeah, having installed this now uh, at least a couple of other times. It identifies here as Mac OS 9.1.2. It's actually 9.2.2. I don't really know why that is, but let's restart and make sure we can actually boot into this. Ejected my disc. Putting right up. I've got OS 9 on a approximately 20 gigabyte partition, uh, leaving the balance of this drive roughly 100 gigabytes for putting on Tiger. All right, things are loading up for us here. Gathering system information. Welcome to the setup assistant. We might as well set things up a bit here. Yep, we'll use the US formats. What is your name? Oh, that's correct, yeah. yeah that's it. That is correct. I'm losing track of time. I've installed this so much. Yep, we'll leave it at New York. Want to use Simple Finder? No. All right. Change 
change that. Not that it matters uh, with changes in uh, Apple file sharing you know, protocols. Uh, you can't see other computers in the network anyway. I can't connect to the uh, my network file server. Okay, now this is interesting. One of the things I discover with password. It will not allow you to leave password blank. And as it's coming up, you see it in the clear, unlike uh, OS X. So, rather than reveal my password to the world, I'm using password. Uh, obviously, I don't recommend using password as a password, but uh, I can change that later. All right, on we go. No point in having a shared folder, really. This is all kind of pointless anyway. Okay. Now, Internet Access, what it's going to do, well, we can, we can look at it just so you, you see what it does. Do you already have an Internet account? Yep. See, it's basically trying to walk you through uh, setting up a dial-up server. So, let's just quit out of that. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, one thing I want to do quickly, I really don't like this background. If we remove the picture and change this to Mac OS default. I always like that uh, little purplish kind of thing. I don't know if it really comes across as purple. Uh, to you, but it does here, kind of a dull purple. And all of these tiled Happy Macs. I always liked Happy Mac. Okay, uh, so that basically concludes uh, the installation of OS 9. And I hope you have enjoyed that. Uh, I am going to go on, particularly, you know, I'll do it today because I've got the G5 set up in target disk mode. I might as well. I'm going to install Tiger and then have at Leopard. Uh, I probably will do all of those today, but I'm going to release the videos one by one uh, so you won't be hammered with three different installation videos all at once. Um, so anyhow, I hope you've enjoyed this look into the past at what it was like to install Mac OS 9. Take good care. Be good to other people.